Hello, and welcome back to Bite-Sized Neo4j for Data Scientists. Today, we're continuing our series in a series where we're looking at comparisons between SQL and Neo4j graph database, and um, looking at when it might benefit you to use a graph database. Um, my name is Claire Sullivan. I'm a data science advocate at Neo4j, and here's how you can find me on the internet. As a reminder, we have some helpful links for this series. The first is how to create a free Neo4j sandbox instance. The second is where you can find find all of the videos in this series. And the third is the repository for all of the code. Now, today we're going to keep playing with the same data that we've been playing with for the past two uh, of this series, the past two videos of this series, namely an airport routing graph. Um, and we have it within SQL and we have it within Neo4j. I just want to remind you how you find it if you are starting with a blank instance. I want you to go in the repository, there's this Cypher Queries subdirectory, and you want to go to the part 20 dot um, Cypher query language because um, what this is going to allow you to do is if you just run this entire query, it will populate the database for you. Go watch part 20 if, if you want to know more about that. Okay, so going back now, I just want to remind you, we had some homework last time, um, and that was looking at my home airport of Denver and using Cypher, how would you find the airports that are two hops from Denver? Now, you notice this word within is in a different color, and that's because I had some people comment back to me saying, hey, you know, your query gets things that are exactly two hops, but what about the airports that are one hop? Okay, so let's, um, I, I have created a new query for that, and if you go into the SQL queries subdirectory and then part 21, and look at this one or two hops dot SQL. Okay, so basically um, this is just my quick and dirty attempt at um, creating some common table expressions to, um, to look at my one and two hop airports here. So you can go through this and you know I'm going to assume that you know some SQL here. Um, so let's just give this a run. I have Postgres stood up. Oops, that's actually the result if I run this query. Okay, so I run the query and um, in my Postgres database, and what I can see is I have destination airport codes that are within one or two hops of Denver. Okay, let's now do this within um, Neo4j. So I'm going to come back here. Um, I have a database that's populated. Okay, let's make sure. I always like to start with saying, does this database make sense? So um, I'm now in the part 21 uh, cipher queries here and call DB schema just gives us a quick little visualization to say okay what roughly does our graph look like and this is this is what I expect it to look like now today we're only going to play with airport nodes but in future videos we're gonna we're gonna mess around with some of these other nodes as well so stay tuned for that okay now the question is how can I get to the airports that are within one or two hops of Denver I'm gonna bring my browser or my IDE back in here and here's the query that we use to do that, this, this bit here. So let me walk you through it. Um, round parentheses mean nodes. So I have a node, I'm going to call it the variable name DEN for Denver. Um, and I say that that node has a label of airport. Um, and then I have a property, which is in my squiggly braces here. My property, I, my IATA airport code is equal to DEN, which is Denver's code. Okay, now I am going to go through a relationship here. Um, relationships are indicated by these square brackets, and the relationship name is has route. Okay, and it's going to have a route to this other airport here, some arbitrary airport with variable name A. And you'll notice here I have indicated arrows because Cypher is a lot like ASCII art, so I'm indicating a directional relationship. Now, the big thing here is this asterisk 1 dot dot 2. And what that means is give me everything that's 1 to 2 hops from my source node of Denver. Okay, and then I also say here um, I don't want to return Denver in that list. Um, and then I'm going to return the distinct airport codes. Okay, so let's give this a run. Okay, we'll go back to our browser. Just copy and paste it in there. And here we go. We get the same results as what we got in SQL, so that's reassuring. But the important thing that I want you to take away is look how much easier this query was to write. And not only was it easier to write, if I had two identical computers, which I don't because the sandbox instances are, you know, they're not huge instances, but if I had two identical um, 
places that I was running Neo4j versus Postgres, this would be a lot faster. And especially as we start getting into bigger graphs, this gets a whole lot faster um, to do this in a graph database. So let me give you this week's homework assignment. First, um, find all airports that are within exactly three, not more, not less, hops of your favorite airport using Cypher. And then if you really want a bonus problem, try doing that in SQL. Okay. Just want to say thank you for tuning in. Please reach out to me on Twitter if you have things that you would like to see in future episodes, and we'll see you next week. Talk to you later.